Well, in this study, we're looking at how technology can be used to promote social inclusion. And we're really interested in how families use technology, like that could be televisions, computers, for children, handheld electronic games, uh, the internet, a whole range of technology that we use in daily lives, and how that's used to promote connections with others and access to important information. But we also have to be thinking about potential dangers and cyber safety as well. We're going into people's homes, we're going to talk to families, the different members of the families, and we're going to ask them to show us what technology they're using in the home and how they experience that. Then we're following them to other areas of their daily lives, so the school, the workplace, the community, and we're going to explore all of those areas. I'm really excited about this research. I think it's really timely to be looking at the role of technology in society and it's also exciting because we, we know that what we find will be applied immediately to what's happening in the community and that's because of the strong partnerships we have. At Melbourne University we bring the research side of things, the Alana and Madeline Hill Foundation are really strong in cyber safety programs and Vic Urban, a government organisation, is responsible for establishing new communities, new neighbourhoods, which can be wide communities, can put all of this in place.